Next up, next up we got Zero vs. Kells. This is something I personally want to see, just because Kells is a game and uh, second game was very close for me right now. I th actually, I, th I know another game was pretty close. I think second game was kind of a body bag, but I want to see like what happened between the games. Okay, Marson, I believe you. Start off the bat. Watch, if this game is like one because of some bullshit or SD, I'm just gonna stop watching it to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, so right now, um, Kells is getting bodied by zero stuff. I don't really have anything to say about that. If I were to catch it, start spin dash. You see Zero's slowly, like very slowly moving towards, look at look at him, Zero's walking towards Sonic. Which is how you have to play the matchup anyway. But like you can see he's just walking and short hopping like very slowly towards Super Kells. Just to corner her without committing to the game like spin dash or anything. <gasps> oh my god, she almost got the Sonic bullshit. <sighs> oh. I hate when I watch this game, I'm just like, oh, that's the bullshit, or that's almost the bullshit. This very rarely set I watched where it's like, oh, that was a great set, no bullshit at all. <gasps> well. <laughs> Speaking of bullshit. <laughs> I hate this game. So, Zero tried going to this banana. Look at him. Zero was just like, okay, I missed my grab. She didn't shield. Let me just go banana. And she, I mean, good in her to read that and punish as hard as possible. But she just does read it. Spin shot, jump fair. <laughs> the spin shot on that combo would go at 66. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, whatever. That's Sonic. Am I sure Kel's got like 66 damage on him? She got like a few hits, but like. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, back air. Spin dash. Spin dash is good. Spin dash is mad good. Okay, and. Zero puts a lot of focus on hitting Kells from the side when she's in the air. Like, I think if it's ability from side B could go through the fairs, but um, Zero's really trying to just get her before she can even do that. Or position himself so he can hit her after she actually like loses the invincibility. The sock, yeah. Yep, has a banana. It just throws out her spin dash. She probably tried spin dashing before I could pick the banana up and do things. But um, yeah, no, she overestimated how fast she could go. She can't go that fast. Okay, ooh, good mix up, yeah. Zero looked like he expected um, a grab, maybe? I'm not sure what he spawned thought. Might just be like a panic option, like, to avoid whatever Sonic's gonna do. Which should be a grab there. <laughs> no, Mrs. Seasick. No clothing business has hit me up yet, sadly. Rip. Okay, spin dashing, spin dashing, spin dashing. Ooh, ooh, you should be. Okay, down tilt, third throw. Ooh, ooh, Ferris, Ferris. Okay, now, I mean, spin that ship, he waits. Doesn't have to do much. He just wants Sonic to commit to something. Because if Zero commits too badly, he might just die from, like, spin dash to, like, back air now. And you can see Kells is looking for that. So Zero's just gonna shield. He doesn't care if he gets grabbed much. Especially with Banana in hand, if he gets grabbed. Kells isn't gonna be able to abuse his position that badly because it's banana plus all side mix ups. That was way too much extension there. Oh, Zero messed up with the banana throw. And I think he realizes so he just shields after that. Come back here, not too safe. Pull banana out. Kells at the ledge. Oh, almost. Try and catch Kells early at B, but pressuring her, making it look like he can go down and just stage biker or something. Okay, Zero wants to fire throw and kill her. I think like Kells is gonna land um, just a spin dash to like Nair. Yeah, and Zero is really looking out for kill moves. Um, he is a bit vulnerable to grabs, I feel like. Like if Kells commits to like a Tomo grab, I feel like it would work. But she hasn't really grabbed Zero at all, so I don't think. She's gonna try to do it now, it's too risky. Like, she'll die from too many things. 
Ah, ah, ah. Really? Really advertise? I've been like five minutes! It's like five minutes is already advertised and playing! Ah, uh, screw YouTube. Nine, four and a half minutes. I should get air blocking my Mozilla Firefox, Jesus. Oh! This is how the game ends. So, okay, she's been there, she's normal stuff. Um. Yeah, you know what it is? Zero probably expected her to play more patient. Especially because Zero just pulled the banana out. He probably expected her to, like, not commit to anything. And then she went to, like... I said it was a very ballsy move, too, because, like, if that uh, side beat with down beat, whatever it was, didn't connect, she would have been grabbed or punished with banana shield or something. Like, a lot of things could have happened to kill her. So I was, like, a basically an all-or-nothing, which didn't even guarantee a kill of a hit. Um, I don't think he's got any options after he got hit here. Like, he did, but, um, so watch this situation. Just hit. Now, that was a good up by Kellos. Um, I think the banana throw may have been poor. Yeah, that was kind of a poor banana throw. I think the reason he does that, though, is he wanted to catch Kellos before she could jump and throw the up in the first place. Because if she... If her up got caught by the banana throw, like, before it came out, then Zero could just up safely. Where if he charges it low, even without burning his jump, he gets up and he just gets up over and over and won't recover, most likely. So, yeah. Okay, jabs. Two. Up throw, back air, okay. Um. Yep, just slowly closing the gap still. Kellis is cornered, yep. Bates that, okay, with banana hand, yep, Zero's not afraid. Kellis can't grab Zero, so he approaches with shield. And as soon as Kellis throws a banana, he punishes. Because he knows Kellis can't do anything after banana throw. Sonic's frame data isn't good enough. Oh, you know, before I finish this, actually, I want to check this be from uh, last set with Frozen versus uh, Mars. I just want to compare the frame data on jump aerials with Corrin and Zero Suit. I don't know why I just thought of that now. So, Zero Suit, 4 frame jump squat. Um. Okay. Oh, I just heard Corrin has a 6 frame jump squat. Yeah, so in terms of just jump aerials, Corn has slightly better averages by like a frame. But Zero Suit has better jump squad, so it bounces out. Interesting. Okay, back to analyzing this though. What's up, Karenal? Yeah, Corn's fastest jump arrow is frame 12. Yeah, and for example, Zero Suit can do jump Nair frame 14. But like that's one of her slower aerials too. She can do like up air, back air. Yeah, sorry, analyze for Resident vs. Mars. Wait, she's dead? That was bad on her part. Yeah, I don't know what she was going for there. She just overextended. She committed to a really bad back air, actually. She should have just side be safely out of there. Even in the back air, wouldn't give her too much. Maybe if we gave her, like, an edge guard, but... It was very unlikely to hit, just because, like, that's the only option is the back air. And zero to shields, and that's fine. He's not going to commit to anything crazy. Because, yeah. Yep, cornered, um... Kelsey's out of the corner. Catches the side B. Uh -huh. <sighs> oh, that was close. That could have been a lot more damage. Kelsey's smartly down. Uh, jabs out of it. The thing is, since Zero was down tilting at low percent, Kelly got turned around from the down tilt and could jab him. That was really recognition on her part. Oh, she's trying to do a spring ride bullshit him at high percents. Oh, that's a hard punish for it, though. Wow, that's a real... Look at that, that was insane. So this is side B. B risk cancel. Grabs. That was, like, hard to react to, too. Because if you're Kells, you probably expect a kick at worst. But, like, you're not going to be ready to react to, you know, side B, B reverse, grab. Wow, wow. The movement with the side B. And then, once again, it was, like, very fast movement from zero. Side B. Okay, some Kells catches it. But it doesn't do much damage, yeah. And Zero's using the side in Kells' corner now, just to mix it up instead of walking every time, because Kells was getting around him by, like, jumping over and whatever through him. Um, but also side her at the ledge means she can't grab Diddy Kong, which means she can't kill Diddy Kong. 
Like, she doesn't have, like, a killing up smash that's really easy to land. Or, like, really any killing aerial anti-air, I should say. So, yeah. <laughs> but Zero's pretty much, uh... Body, you know, he's, he's doing the same thing as last game, but he didn't get killed at 60. And I feel like FDO is a big factor in this, because on Smashville, it was so small that you can notice he was threatening to pull up bananas, so he was cornered a lot. On FD, he always has a lot of room to side B and escape bad situations and pull up bananas, so Kels can't really trap her in the air or his landings well, nor pressure bananas as well as he wants without over committing heavily. Oh, they had jump fair. I feel like Kels is making a lot of these mistakes with like over committing to attacks on zero when she's in disadvantage. Like there, that was a bad side B because then she got hit by zero, just chasing with a fair. It's not even much damage, but it's just the idea that zero is looking for these little openings and taking them and winning off little openings like that. Like she had no reason to jump up the ledge and side B charge it because she does that. Zero reacts to that, and he has no reason not to react and punish that because Kels can't really do anything if zero is just ready for it. Oh, she wants zero to air dodge. Because then she got bullshit going. You know, Zero's gonna walk. Zero's not scared. Okay, there we go. Now, now she catches Zero before it throws banana out, but it doesn't get much damage. Okay, there we go. It's a lot of pressure on Zero. But right there, she's overcommitting. And here, once again. I think that's the biggest thing is, um... And this is smart as Zero. What Zero does is he gives you a bit of distance, like, here. It's like, you're off stage. And there's, like... Let's say the Z... Zero's underneath this platform here, maybe even farther back here, to edge of the platform, and the opponent's off stage, they're gonna try to jump on stage because they have a lot of room. And Zero just goes, oh, you're actually jumping? Dash, jump there. And he's able to, like, do that and immediately cover this entire off stage segment and cut through any hitboxes with Farrah's giant disjoint. So, I feel like Kels has to go to the ledge and just play from there, but she's so afraid of being trapped in the ledge that she's jumping anyway and getting bopped on reaction for no reason. And then be put on the ledge and sell them to get off it and taking damage. Like, okay, right here, see, look, the room? And then she jumps and takes damage. Not with a fair, but the same exact thing. Same exact idea. Oh! Okay. Huh. It looks like Zero expects her to spin dash past him. Sup, Pear Rod Din? <laughs> yep, forward air surface spin dashing in the air above him and in front of him. Ooh, that was interesting. Wow, look at this pressure he puts on. This is really smart of Zero. Zero realizes he needs to get killed, he can't just let damage happen. So first of all, he's not going to let her get mid-stage like that. But this two-framed her. And she doesn't recognize it. She'd get a jump there. But two-frames her. He throws a banana to catch her if she tries to land away. Or, like, just land and not hit him. But he has enough time to throw a banana, shield. And then she's forced to jump. Now, she could have up beat here, but she chose air dodge, which is a poor option. Um, But I think she was just hoping to not get, like, hair hit by a fair or bear. But, nah. That was a bad air dodge. But if she, like, up beat, she would have been fine. Jump up air. Oh, back air. Okay. Spin dash catches him for close man. Yeah, now I think a big difference that um, Kels has made since game one of Smashville with bananas is she's she's committing to punishing the bananas and the throws and everything by being a lot closer to zero before doing the spin dashes. So zero's not having the time to pull the pick the banana up and do things. Or we can pick it up, period. But that's because Kells is constantly spin dashing him for much closer. And I'm recognizing that Zero is really not trying to fight without a banana in his hand. So it's giving her openings to get close. Because Zero only gets like a little bit of forward air damage if he gets hit without banana in hand in this matchup. Especially considering that, like, because Sonic doesn't get grabbed much, he can't get grab combos, which is going to be big, you know, meat and potatoes of his damage. Nor can he get down to us because spin dash. So that makes sense. Oh, 
Come on, Firefox. Don't do this to me. There we go. Jabs, nice yep, side being air, which is landing stuff. Okay. Wow, is Zero about to die? Yeah, Zero's taking a lot of damage, and now Kills might get smart by not committing to getting kills. Because I think Zero wants her to try to overextend. Wow, oh man, I was so close to. Wow, this is. Wait, what the fuck? <gasps> no, no, Zero's getting his bullshit going. Close the banana out, forces Kells a bad spot. Yeah, and Kells doesn't want to commit to anything bad to get a kill. You know what's funny? I feel like even though Zero's like Kelpsen, he's the one that's chasing Kells because he recognizes Kells is looking for a safe opening to kill him. And so if he chases Kells and doesn't let her get back to neutral and like think about what she wants to do, um, Kells isn't going to be able to get a good opening without overextending for like back arrows to like get Kells to just obviously and safe. So they're putting all this pressure on Kells now, when she's kind of nervous because she wants to get this kill. Um, Zero's able to get all this damage, and I feel like that's going to be uh, what happens here. Side B doesn't kill. Oh my god, the side B air doesn't kill. Once again though, just pressure Zero when he's not expecting this overall like approach. Like Zero doesn't respect Kells enough to expect her to like... Or he re respects her too much. So she's able to just... Uh, oh. Well, well, cue the horns, cue the sad flute, no, cue the sad violin. Yeah, right here she jumps, and then, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. That, that was, uh, ha, ha. yeah, Kells looks a little bit shook from that. She's smiling, she's not trying to show that she's like upset, but you can kind of see in like the little contours of like her face, so like she's trying to like hide a frown, you know, hide like an upset face. Zero with the eyebrows, she's like, yeah, I did that, bland. Yeah, she shouldn't, and the thing is, I don't know, I'm not sure if Zero knew she knew she would be. Obviously, air dodge in case a Sonic does that, and maybe he expected it. I feel like the air dodge is more just like, bait out anything, not just a neutral B, but bait out any attack from Sonic, including neutral B is one of the options, and hope it works. So yeah, it was one of those things that makes sense in the situation, I'll do that too, bait out a neutral B, but you do have to bait out a neutral B, or a side B, or a down B, or like a fair, you bait out something from the Sonic player, while also still being in their face, so they don't do anything, you can just react and like, hit them after air dodging, and if they do something, they miss and you punish them. So you kind of force them to do nothing, and then essentially it creates a stalemate, where like the Sonic does nothing, the player does nothing, and the Sonic up use low generally. But yeah. He didn't bait the homing attack, it's reactable. Let's see. Because I guess it could be reactable, it's hard to react to it, I feel like. Oh yeah, he did react to it, you're right. Okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, like you said, he did nothing here. Jump. Jump fair. Yeah, and you can see right here. He goes here. Still trying to bait something out. But here he reacts to neutral B. Yeah. That's a hard thing to react to. You have to, like... You still have to kind of plan around the neutral B. But, like, he obviously planned around that because a good player is going to do that. I mean, I have bad reaction time, so I can't react to that well. Our reaction time is actually atrocious. Okay. But yeah, still a mistake by Kells. She had no reason to go there. Or did that neutral B, I should say. Yeah, if Kells didn't make all these little mistakes, she would be being zero for sure. Or, or at least zero would have to be like, changing it up to beat her. Because right now, zero is kind of getting behind the skin of his teeth.
Jump back here is good. Yeah, pressure. Kells is just jumping with the platform, not gonna deal with the pressure. Zero is an air dodging, and so I think Zero recognizes the Sonic Bow she, she's going for, and is playing around specifically that. Like, she is not letting him get, or not letting her get. He is not letting her get. I don't know my my gender pronouns. He is not letting her get the bullshit. Yeah, like, he's not gonna air dodge. He's gonna jump. Air dodge there, he's landing, but like, yep, catches her. Oh my god, he's gonna. Trying to frame her with forward and set up a really annoying situation. That's so smart that Zero does that. Right there. And he's getting Trump's so ass to do something, but he's able to just like jump in back air and cover a lot of options after jumping off the ledge first. So essentially by baiting her to trump him, he's able to frame trap, not frame trap her, but like put her in an awkward pressure spot. Uh, try to catch up. Landing with air dodge down, or down tilt, or whatever. Throw banana. Um, yep, give her a lot of space. Try and catch her going mid-stage. You see Zero, he just pulls that banana, he's not gonna do anything crazy. If Kells wants to do this um, song and dance, he'll do the same thing. Play patient, and he's gonna get the chip damage from Peanuts, banana throws, and he'll find an opening that Kells isn't gonna get, cause she's just hitting a shield at this point. You know, if he sees an opening, he can go for like that down tilt, which is relatively safe. Because Sonic either has to spin dash into a down tilt, which gets her punished, or Sonic has to spin dash over, which then Zero's fine, cause to spin dash over, so that's a really smart way actually to pressure Sonic in the corner when he's landing and try to spin dash. Is you put a hitbox in front of him, like you put a hitbox kind of underneath him and in front of him, so he's forced to either land into the hitbox or go over it. So it's either he takes damage or resets the neutral, except Sonic's in a bad spot because you overcommitted. Okay, and Kel, I don't know what Kel's trying to do. Okay, Zero made a mistake. That's what it is, okay. You know what it is? She's looking to bait Zero to make a mistake. Because right there, Zero overextended for a back air, wants to end it. Zero probably got comfortable with how Kells was um just spacing spin dashes. And I feel like Kells kind of fished that out. And so he baits out. Oh, she baits out the back air and punishes him with her back air. That was good, yeah. Reads the roll. Um, and once he has a read, he waits for the roll to confirm it, and it was a roll, and that's it. Ooh, that's smart. Yep, doesn't spin dash. Yeah, he's condition. She's conditioned zero a little bit with spin dashes. He expects them. Sack grab was good. He gets 30 some damage off it. Spin dash. Oh, that's out. Ooh, wow. Gets like a near cross up. I think he looked like a cross up. So that was really good. <gasps> oh no! What? Look at this. Oh no, mind. I thought zero got hit by up air one. Zero tries up airing out of that actually. Wow, that was that was very close. But Zero like didn't get caught by it. Yep, spin dashing, still working out really well. Keep spin dashing, nice jab. And Zero's getting flustered. You can noticeably see he wants to just chase down Kells at this point. That was a good use of side B. Cut right through her attack. Oh, that time she didn't get the cross up. She got that before, so she went for it again. Oh no, bad air dodge! Kills, no! No, you should have went to Lushka, no! Jump fair, gets caught. Oh, catches her jumping. Nice, yeah, look, she's constantly just weaving around his pressure on the ledge. Like, she's playing the ledge better than pretty much everyone else does versus Zero. It's also Sonic. And Sonic's really good at, like, getting off the ledge, but still. She's playing really well around it. Spin dash. That's it, right? Yeah, ah, oh, bad DI, but I don't think it matters. In terms of like, I, I don't think she's gonna win this game at this rate. I don't think Battlefield is a good choice, uh, Dream is a good choice for her in this matchup. Like, I don't know, then again, what do you bring Sonic to? Or Diddy to a Sonic? Like, Kel's probably good, but she couldn't, um... It was all these little mistakes, mainly off stage with her recoveries. And she just got fared over and over for it every time. And Zero got like a lot of his damage off like those little mistakes. Buried air dodges to the ground. Um but otherwise I feel like Kels was playing on par with Zero. And you can tell Zero is like visibly flustered by the end of that set. He wasn't making mistakes, but like 
he was overcommitting and trying to get hits he shouldn't try to get hits with. And, like, you know, he wasn't trying to play for the timer when he could have. You know, he had, like, two minutes left, and he just wanted to end it. So, I don't know about that. But, yeah. Just a little bit better than she could have had that. That game three also gives Zero a lot of confidence, you notice. If she didn't, like, make that mistake at the end of game three and got a kill at 70, she could have had it. Oh, well.